before I start my video, uh, yesterday um, a big earthquake happened in Osaka. Um, we are far away from Osaka, so nothing happened here at Miura Peninsula. But in Osaka, five people died. So this is affect us very much whenever an earthquake happen. Um, we are really uh, shake to the core. Now I think 1,500 people are still in temporary accommodation because when the Kumamoto earthquake happened, the next day the bigger earthquake happened. So they are afraid that in Osaka happens the same. So people are still uh, in temporary accommodation and uh, a lot of people don't have water. I recorded this video and after that this happened so our hearts are going out to them and um, it, it's it's always sad when an earthquake happened. Yeah, this is this is at the ring of fire it it's something we have to live with but when it happens we are really shaky and um, actually beginning of the week uh, NHK started to report about uh, Shiva earthquakes that they are more frequent and in the moment when the national TV starts to talk about it um, you get really nervous because uh, usually they don't talk about it it's not news in Japan we have everyday earthquakes and then the next day, I think, um, in Gunma, an earthquake happened, which hasn't happened before or in, in 70 years. So I think I got very nervous. And then yesterday, the Osaka earthquake happened. And uh -huh. I, was, I, I went to Twitter and Twittered because I had the feeling maybe um, an earthquake will happen in Tokyo. Or the, because everybody is waiting for the big earthquake in Tokyo. So, yeah. So... If you can donate somewhere um, for Japan, um, please do it. Uh, I don't have any charity in the moment in my mind, but maybe you have one you can donate to. Okay, so I will start the video right now and um, yeah. So today's video is about Germany versus Japan and when I first arrived in Japan and how is it today. I arrived in 2006 and um, it was different at that time, definitely. Well, these are just my opinions, my experience, so everybody experiences differently, so it doesn't mean what I say is uh, generalized for whole Japan so it's just my experience so take it with a light heart thank you I arrived in Japan in 2006 from Singapore I lived eight years in Singapore and um, just married my Japanese husband so, I start with my husband, or with the Japanese man. <laughs> um, a major difference is his behavior uh, abroad and in Japan. In Singapore, he was very easygoing. He would hold hand, occasional a kiss on the cheek. Or he was just very... Uh, a very relaxed whereby here in Japan um, he left first uh, Singapore before me and I came maybe two months later he was very reserved it was like uh, meeting a different man when I arrived here uh, I felt um, at first very uncomfortable because it was such a change in behavior, very unusual. So um, I think the Japanese men in Japan are much more reserved and conservative. Whereby if you go for the German men, they are actually everywhere the 
the same in behavior. They are not aware of the surroundings like the Japanese man, I would say. Mm. And um, there's another story to it. When we lived in New Zealand, um, we went to um, Thomas Springs. And everywhere, everybody was in, in the, the pools and lovey dovey. And, and we came in, we felt, even me, well, I, I lived so long time in, in Japan, even me we felt a little bit uncomfortable with this touchy touchy, but we are also a little bit older, so yeah. So, but there is a difference. Okay, next one. When I arrived in Japan, I lived at Yokohama Station. And my kids went to a school there. And every morning, mothers, uh, everybody would gather at one point with their children and they would have a walking train to um, the school. When I was a child, I never experienced this. So this is in Japan. And in Germany, the kids are usually going on their own to school. Um, to bring this in from Singapore. In Singapore, the bus is coming directly to your doorstep and pick up the, the kid with your kid. So it's very safe in the Asian countries, or at least in Japan and Singapore. But right, in Germany, you leave a lot of responsibility to the kid. I guess they're, the, okay, Germany is on this side, Japan is on this side. But by um, the yeah, I see very often articles about uh, helicopter parents bringing their kids to school. I totally get it. So yeah, I, I like this the way in, in Japan with this uh, um, walking train. Here on the countryside, the kids usually go on their own. But there are always some adults, especially um, retired people, who are, who are um, looking over them. Like they're standing at junction, make sure that they cross the way safely. And if there are some naughty boys or girls, um, they might walk with them or inform the mother um, that she has to look after them. So, yeah, that's the difference between uh, Germany and Japan. Um, Yokohama is uh, quite a big city. Um, a few million. Um, and what was very unusual, everybody was greeting me. That good morning, and so, oh, hi, Gozaimas, Konnichiwa, and all this. And I thought this was very unusual for a city. Yeah. Uh, when, when, I, um, when we moved to Dubai and then came back in 2010, we moved to Nakamachi Dai, where the German school Tokyo Yokohama is. And, um, it didn't happen there, so it was there. It was more. Oh, Germans are coming close the door. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, in Germany also in the city you usually don't greet unless you meet a colleague or a friend or something like this. Yeah. At least in Frankfurt, this is what I remember. Mm, crime. When I arrived in two thousand six. Uh, and I went to a mobile phone shop. All the phones were in front of you, there was no security. You just literally can take them and walk out of the shop. Of course, I didn't do this, but um, in Germany, this was not the case. And um, now in Japan, it's also not the case anymore. Now everything is secured. Um, yeah, this changed a lot in Japan. I don't feel the crime in Japan. Whereby in Germany, I always felt the crime. I used to commute to Frankfurt every day, and it was every morning um, a torture to go through the uh, train station because there would be always somebody asking for some money or something. And um, last time I went back in, um, before I moved to Japan, someone stole my mobile phone. And it was very expensive. I worked a year for this and I needed it for work and I was quite unhappy about that. Yeah. So
So I feel Japan is not safer than Germany. No, Germany is safe. Japan is more safer than Germany. So um, next one. Ah, I was so cute. In 2006, at Yokohama Station, you find everywhere the maids distributing flyers. Uh, they basically advertised the izakaya or, or bar and um, they were willing to take a photo with you. It was very easy. There was no question or anything. When you take a photo and might hesitate and look at them and say, oh yeah, yeah, please take a photo. Or, it was not a problem. Today it's a huge problem. And of course we didn't have this flying distributed mates in Germany, but I like this. Um, playful nature in Japan at that time. Today it changed. Today you have to ask and usually they don't like it. Um, yeah. In Germany in general you have to ask people uh, to take when you take the picture. In Japan at that time with the maid or with the cosplay it was not a problem. Of course every time you should ask or something. But it was today I feel when I take my phone out everybody is like oh everybody freezes basically so uh, I think something drastically changed and I felt it already in 2010 Ah yeah German man versus Japanese man When I arrived here my husband sat me down and said look at this, this is all what I have from now on you will uh, manage the finances and give me pocket money <laughs> this will never happen in Germany, never, ever. Um, I was really touched by his trust. I totally loved it. But I had to decline at that time because I couldn't read uh, Kanji or Hiragana, Katakana. So, um, no. Um, a German husband or a German man usually uh, I, I cannot speak for everybody, of course, it's just, um, it's not a generalization, it's just what I experienced, wouldn't do that. So as I said before, in Germany, usually uh, you wouldn't do this and you have separate accounts and everything. Being a housewife in Japan, it's very, very common. Uh, at least in my generation. Um, I know, I, talk, I see um, YouTube videos and this one guy said, oh, good old times, uh, housewife and all this. Um, I think it's very common in Japan. And I was very, very grateful that I could stay at home in 2006. I felt a little bit uh, guilty I have a little, I feel still sometimes guilty that I don't work. Um, but I wanted to stay at home. I wanted to look after my children. I totally enjoyed it. Uh, this is this is just great. Uh, whereby in Germany, uh, in general, the German man will not allow you this or will not accept it. There is just some kind of insecurity or it's also a money issue. There are many, many things which plays into this. So, But in general, in Germany, you work with children and in Japan, maybe not. I, um, last time someone told me, oh, uh, they're all working now. No, not, not in my social service. Not in... Uh, my social circle, not circus. So that's the difference. Oh. What happened is when I arrived here, my husband said, Oh, you have to manage finances, etc. Um, he also said, I um, signed up for a life insurance group. I was like, oh. Seriously, um, but 
he also had his own life insurance, so yeah, and I'm still alive, so yeah. This is, I think this is also different. Another thing when I first arrived was the rubbish collection. In Germany, we are very proud of our rubbish collection, or there's a separation of just trash or rubbish. Um, yellow bin, blue bin, black bin, and whatsoever, um, and clothes, and, 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 and. In Japan, they have the same, but in different categories and to a whole new level. The first year, the manager of our uh, apartment building picked through my rubbish and basically every day told me, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. She basically educated me for one year where to put my rubbish, or rubbish collect, uh, correctly. I thought that was great, but no, glass is not glass. The bottle and the broken drinking glass, two totally different things. Yeah, that's different to Germany. In 2006, people helped a lot in Japan. They went out of their way to help me, and basically everywhere they were asking me, oh, do you need help, do you need help? Um, in Germany, people are in general also friendly, but I think you have to approach them and ask for help. So this, this was at that time a little bit different. However, this changed now in Japan. I don't get this question anymore. I don't know when this stopped, but I really realized maybe last year, before I got to show, it, it somehow stopped, at least for me. Oh, what is totally the same is Germany and Japan humor. We can laugh about the same things. So this is so great. And I think this is where my husband and me, we, we clicked. Um, whereby when, when, I told, uh, when I told my colleagues, I worked in marketing in Singapore. I worked for an American company. And when I told my uh, colleagues, they were from India, Malaysia, uh, China, Singapore, Australia, Americans. And when I told them a joke, or something what I thought is really funny, they were like, oh, but when I dated my husband, it was like we clicked immediately. It was I think we we can we click there the Germans and the Japanese. Um, I feel Japan is cleaner than Germany. I can tell you why. Um, when you, the first impression when you arrive in a country is the airport and then the train station or bus. And um, it always hits me at the train station in Germany. There are so strong smells and it's usually someone did their business somewhere at the corner because you have to pay for the toilets at the train station and, um, or at the service areas on the autobahn. This is not the case in Japan, and thank God. Because I think this is why this, the level of smell is so much lower in, in Japan when it comes to service areas or train stations. So this is in Germany uh, totally different, yeah. And in Japan also when you go to a convenience, you can just use it, but out of courtesy you should buy a bottle of water or something. In Japan, everybody smokes at special areas, which is only for smokers. And um, this is different to Germany as well. Uh, I think in Germany you can smoke everywhere. And maybe not in the restaurants and all this, but here on the train station, there is, even outdoor, there is a room where the people go in and smoke. Obviously, in Japan, you drive on the left-hand side. Um, in Germany, on the right-hand side. But the difference in speed is quite, quite enormous. 
in Japan, you will, um, it's 40 in general in cities, or 30 sometimes. And in means everywhere 40. So the last time I got uh, stopped by the police because I drove 56. Between two towns and no pedestrian, it was an overland street. So um, I was a little bit puzzled that it was only 40 there. But, um, and it was downhill, so I totally forgot about it and slowly went faster, faster, faster. Here. And everything over 10 kmh, the police will stop you in, in Japan. And it cost me at that time 10,000 yen. So in Germany, it's just usually 50 or 30. But here in Japan, there's, there's something interesting to it. They say everything what is faster than 30. Um, people get very, uh, can, if they get hit by a car, it's my, maybe very, very serious. So I think that's why they have this 30 limit. Another big thing in Japan is when you cross the road. And it's, it's just too cute, too cute, really. There is a pedestrian and no light, no, no uh, traffic light to it. And you want to cross. My husband goes like this. It's like kindergarten, but this is Japan. Where we're in Germany, you just take left, right, and you, you cross the road. And not necessarily the pedestrian, you just go everywhere. You just jaywalk. And um, this is a big difference. Even at night time in Japan, everything is dark around you. There is a pedestrian uh, uh, light, traffic light. And if it's red, you will not cross that light. You will wait, even if you're holding on to the lantern in, in because you had a little bit too much to ring, you hold on to that and then you cross when it's getting green. Let me know what you think and what you experience when you compare Germany and Japan. Do you have ideas for a video? Let me know. This week I had one comment and it was from Nick Effendi. He basically said, um, Weekend Adventures of Martina. Haha. Uh -huh. I love the ending, your famous kitchen right there. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, yes, that's why I'm right now in my kitchen. Thank you for that comment. And uh, if you want to check out his channel, there should be right now a, a card and you can click on it. Um, basically, he is uh, we blogging about food and travel and he describes food very well and you can really you can get a good idea of what he's eating. Nick Effendi has a YouTube channel and it's similar to mine, but he is introducing street food where he goes and especially in Asia. Um, this is a very good thing because he describes the food very well and you get a pretty good idea what he is eating. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. And if you just like this video, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next Thursday.